So there's a title to this chapter in my Bible, and it reads this way, Israel's Failure to Listen. That's how this chapter is summarized. Let me share something with you. I don't want that to be the summary of my life, nor do I want it to be the summary of yours. Neil failed to listen to God. Lord, please don't let that be me. As you read through this chapter, let me just share this with you. You look at verse six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, it all ends with this same line, but still you would not return to me. God shares in this chapter of many different ways he sought to discipline his people, but they wouldn't listen, they wouldn't return. And it reminds me of this passage in Hebrews that talks about how sometimes the difficulties in our life may very well be what C.S. Lewis would call the, the megaphone of God speaking to us to get our attention, for him disciplining us. Let me read to you out of Hebrews chapter 12, starting in verse five. He says this, "'Have you forgotten the encouraging words God spoke to you as his children? He said, "'My child, don't make light of the Lord's discipline, "'and don't give up when he corrects you. "'For the Lord disciplines those he loves "'and punishes each one he accepts as his child.'" You see, difficulty in your life, in whatever realm it may be, physical health, spiritual challenges, emotional, financial, relational, they may have a myriad of reasons, and causes, and roots. But don't blow off. Don't think, oh, that could never be. Perhaps the Lord, in one area of your life or in mine, is seeking to get our attention through the difficulty of discipline, seeking to draw our attention to something that he wants to correct in our lives. And as the author of Hebrews would say, you see, that's actually a testament to the fact that God loves you. He loves you enough to put guardrails, guidelines, and governance in your life so that we would listen. See, today, as you read Amos chapter four, let's not ever allow the summary of our lives to be, they didn't listen. If there's an area of your life right now that you feel a little uncomfortable in, consider with me. Maybe it's God's way of bringing discipline and correction in your life because he loves you, he cares for you, and wants the absolute best for you.